to thank you very much for being patient and listening to me for so long, and particularly for inviting me here. This is a wonderful um, experience to see a vibrant mathematical community here and to be so close to where Ramanujan did so much of his work. Um, I feel privileged to be able to come and speak to you. So any questions? Or back to you questions to ask this is basically to visualize abstract algebra and the seed for it is Pascal's triangle right um, yes it's, we're using Pascal's triangle to visualize concepts in group theory abstract and, abstract. Algebra. and we actually have a set of exercises for use in an undergraduate abstract algebra class and that's what our field testers were doing. Um, so that's what we got the grant for, was to help students understand abstract algebra. But we also tacked in, you know, well, but we'd also like to do some undergraduate research and get students doing there. And this is very accessible, so we could have students do undergraduate research on all kinds of different questions. We also had students who got into 4D visualization things, because if you want to look at, or 3D visualization, sorry. Some did 42, but um, <laughs> if you wanted to look at Z2 cross Z2 cross Z2, you'd need to do a Pascal's pyramid to do it in order to generate the whole group because you couldn't generate it with just, so we had all kinds of different things. Some people tried that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And virtual reality, you can zoom around it and everything. So. One of the people who worked on that, one of our students who worked on that is now on our faculty. Um, well, there's a lot. I, I don't see any abelian groups that have that sort of fuzziness that D3 has. I, I, I haven't seen anything in, um, in anything that, that leads to that kind of almost random looking stuff. So from that, from that perspective, yeah. So being D3 being the least yeah, yeah, yeah. But we looked at uh, like D32 and you know, the, I don't know that many non-Apelian groups because like I say, I, that, I, I didn't study that area, but um, that's, that's the main difference that I noticed. Of course, you would expect less symmetry because, you know, when they're in different directions, you know, just exchange to and it changes what's happening, so. <coughs> Maybe you can say something about uh, Mathematical Association of America. The, M the yeah, MAA, okay. The MAA is a uh, large, it's mostly American, um, but there are members from all over the world. But uh, it's, it's the association that is most focused on undergraduate mathematics and undergraduate mathematics education. So we have two large, well, we have a number. Of, we have um, the two main sort of overarching math associations are the American Math Society which is based in Providence, Rhode Island, um, which is much more the research arm, the heavy research arm. And then the MAA, which is much more um, focused on undergraduate uh, education and is more accessible to people like me who are not at big research institutions. So one thing I wanna say is, you know, this is my mathematical, you know, part of my mathematical journey, but I'm a college professor. I'm interested in mathematics that's accessible to the college level. I have, I, I'm not interested in trying to get, you know, I'm not an Andrew Wiles, you know, I'm not gonna write a, a proof that no undergraduates can understand. Um, and I'm much more of a generalist. I like learning new areas of mathematics, even if they're not new to the world, if they're new to me. I love finding out about Ramanujan and all the things, I, like the people who do mathematics. 
and I like teaching a variety of different kinds of courses. So you can love mathematics and do different things. You don't have to love mathematics and be the mathematical genius who's um, going to solve the next of the millennium problems or whatever. Uh, there's, there's lots of room in mathematics for all of us to, to come and enjoy it and share our enjoyment and enthusiasm for it. Most of your pictures resemble the fractal structures. Most of them resemble like particularly yeah. circle skiing aspect. Yes, a lot of them do. In fact, I think we've got some in the uh, curve gallery or whatever. That, yes. um, and that was one of the things we were interested in doing with some of our students was defining a fractal dimension and looking at it that way. So. Serpinski's gasket. Yeah. You got a donut or is there a topology associated with that? Yes, but we weren't really looking at it. We're yeah, we just we, we look at the squares. You know, we're just saying that what we're really doing is wrapping it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is. It's just we. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, there are lots of different directions you can take this stuff. So. And they also observed that the non-abelian structures are mainly negative groups, not some, some other groups. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Your, your works are mainly based on non-abelian groups, but I could be and be. Yeah, yeah, most, there, most there are various other non-abelian group structures. Yes, yes, but um, I hadn't programmed them, so. I'm trying to think. There, there were a couple others that we looked at. Um, but I don't at this point remember what they were. Quaternions. We looked at quaternions. Yeah. Optic Yeah. But these are the ones we got actual results for. So. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any more questions? Well, again, thank you for listening to me. Thank you so much, ma'am. The tale which started, you know, in the middle school talk that you know inspired you and then moved on to Pascal's triangle and yeah. researching more and more on it. It's actually inspiring to all of us. Thank you so much for inviting and for coming here and delivering this talk for us, ma'am. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of fun that all this started with a middle school teacher. Yeah, a middle What's school. Where does she know? I have no idea. I don't know if she even knows I did this. <laughs> I didn't have any, you know, I just heard her talk. I didn't have any information from her or something. Unlike at college professor talks, the middle school teachers don't give you their contact information and everything at the end, so. So did you go back and deliver this talk there, ma? No, I, I, you should. She, I don't have any way of contacting her. I don't know where she is. I don't even remember which middle school she was from, so. I, I don't think I could Google Judy Brown. I think that would Good. probably be a little bit too much. <laughs> but, are you interested in that since Are you interested in that since Are you interested in that since childhood? Oh, that's an interesting. My mother's a mathematician. I can tell you when I went to college, I was a uh, European lit major. I was going to minor in French. The one thing I knew for sure I was not going to be was a college math professor. Because <laughs> I knew all the bad things about that, because that's what my mom was. But it turns out that actually there are a lot more good things about it than bad things, and uh, everything else was not nearly as, uh, as much fun. But, but I've always had some interest in mathematics, because uh. So as a token of our gratitude, ma'am, we would like to present to you a, a memento, a small gift from our side. Gift.
This is fabulous. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's definitely going on my shelf. <laughs> I don't know if I'll even take it into the office and I have to leave it at home. <laughs> Thank you. That is great. Uh, I now invite Mr. Shankar to present a gift to Mrs. Dilip D'Souza. Please, sir. This is by Mathematics Association. But I didn't deliver any talk. To deliver the vote of thanks for those people who do not know, he is a professor of uh, DG Vaishnava College and also the founder of this Pi Mathematics Association. So I now invite Professor Shivaraman to give a so it is uh, with immense happiness for me to present this word of thanks. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, entertaining lecture provided by the professor. Uh, I mean, it's been one of the finest moments that we had. And we like this kind of lectures for sure because uh, there are so much of stuff in going in mathematics and each day some new theorems has been discovered. Uh, but not many could understand or follow what it has done. So we need someone to come here and communicate very effectively and I hope that uh, she has done that part very well today. Though, uh, I mean, you have to, you cannot understand the complete stuff that she had been working, any speaker had been working for all these years. It's impossible to comprehend everything. And therefore, you just note down what has been said, you go to the site that has been mentioned, just go through the details, work for yourself and see how it is done for yourself. But the, the outline has been given to us, so catch that idea and work for yourself. And I think uh, Pi Mathematics Association will definitely try to conduct many more such entertaining lectures which will be useful for mainly for students who want to know good mathematics. And uh, yes. As a highlight of our association, we are going to complete 10 years of existence by this May and we are planning to have a big function. And uh, I would uh, probably invite every one of you and send messages at least for uh, blessing us and be cooperating with all our activities in future. Maybe you can send your mails or pictures or something to share with us. Uh, I mean, whatever project that... And we have many interesting students here who can also join in this uh, work. and. Uh, so I take great happiness and I thank every one of you for coming here and uh, honoring our invitation because it has been quite a challenge for us to bring everyone today because of the working day. That too in the evening not many find uh, uh, preferable time. But in spite of that uh, many had turned here. I am so happy for it and I thank each one of you uh, to have come here accepting our invitation. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, including myself. So we have to learn more and do many entertaining things in future. So I hope that you all become good mathematicians in future. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For those of you who want to talk to her personally, can come probably ask about her university or you know the, the future prospects in mathematics, the applications of this, or whatever it is. I mean, you can come and talk to her regarding it. Otherwise, thank you all for coming here. Have a great evening. Thank you.